I saw her with the shop that had had it. It had completely sold out. <laughs> and then a few weeks later, I went to um, a different town in a different shop, and they actually had some. So I got the tasty avocado palette. I couldn't resist those colours, especially at the moment because it's spring here. So I am going to do my first impressions and tell you what I think of the tasty avocado palette as a first impression. So just keep watching to see what I do. So that one with the tasty avocado palette. I think I'm going to play with some of the kind of aqua tones, but the only um, mattes brown or more green. So we will have a play and see what we can do. I'm going to go into a fluffy brush first, and I think I'm going to start off with this one. Guacamole. Go into creamy. So this one's basically my skin tone. And then I'm going to hang on, I need to go and get the rest of my brushes because they're dry now and I haven't put them away and I need some of them. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so I wanted this brush, which you might say it looks exactly like the other one, but the other one is bigger. So, <laughs> so go in with a little bit of lime here. And I don't want tons of colour. I just want to help that green blend out a little bit. So I'm putting these on really pale because I don't want it to be a really green green look. I'm wanting to go more aqua with the shimmers. And then I'm going to go into Avo or Avo. For avocado, I presume. And just deepen up that crease a little bit. So, so far it's looking very green. Now, I may deepen up the crease a little bit more when I've done my shimmer, but we'll wait and see. So, I'm working with these for kind of turquoisey green look, green colours. So which one do I want to do first? So I think I'm going to go in with Foodie first, which is this one here. And I'm just going to use a dry at the moment. And I'm going to go into Branch. Branch? Or Branch. Brunch, brunch, brunch. Then I'm going to go into Smash. So that's basically what we're working with at the moment. So I'm going to do that on that eye. I'm going to go into a pencil brush. This is a Chi Chi. And a corner pencil brush, it says. And I'm just going to go back into this colour here, which is Evo. I'm just very gently deepening that crease a little wee bit. It's looking for quite a paley kind of look today. So I'm gonna go back into guacamole. And for my inner corner, I'm going to go into butt. This one here. I didn't wet that or anything. Just dry. Got some fallout because um, I wasn't being very careful. <laughs> Which is fine because I haven't actually done anything else on my face yet. And it's left lots of sparkles on my face. <laughs> so I'm going to do my foundation and stuff and then I'll come back. And this is where we are at. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Glide On Gel Eyeliner in Aquatic, the blue. 
We'll put that underneath. I'm going to go into foodie first. We'll put that on the outer corner. And there is my final look, look one. And there is one more thing that I'm going to do, which most people probably wouldn't. <laughs> so that's why I showed you before I did it. Okay, I'm going to get my white mix liquid liner. And I want some yellow. I haven't got a yellow liquid liner or I've used that. So I'm just going to get the yellow out of this festival fusion palette. It'll work. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to have to make some because it's not doing what I want it to. So I'm just going to make some with my ink pot and that yellow and then I'll be back. I'm just going to put some little yellow dots on the flowers. Here yeah, is my little daisies. Because it's spring here and I thought they'd do something fun. <laughs> so first impressions for my first look, because this was the first time I've ever used this palette, is um, I'm really liking it so far. It's um, All the colours went on really well. And um, I, I didn't use that many. I used one, two, three, four, five, six. So I only used six colours in there. But um, they all blended nicely. Like the mattes, I didn't want a lot of colour, so I didn't build it up very much. But I was able to darken up that bit, and I wasn't even trying to build it up very much. But it, I still got the dimension that I wanted. And those shimmers are beautiful. So we'll see how I feel about it in the future. But at the moment, I'm liking it. So, I have to say Nikki Raven made me buy this palette because she said how wonderful it was and she kept raving about it and um, <laughs> then when I saw it in store, I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that one. I didn't buy any of the other ones, like they had the pizza slice one. They didn't have the other one, I think it was the um, red chili pepper one, they didn't have that one in store, they just had the, those two and um, I just got the green one because that one appealed to me the most. <laughs> so impressions of the Tasty Avocado palette by I Heart Revolution. So, look two. I thought I was going to go really natural, but I think I've changed my mind now that I'm looking at the palette. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go in with some of these brighter greens and the goldy colour. I think that's what I'm feeling today. I'm going to go in with the Evo and put that in the crate.
So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then come back and finish the eyes. And if you're curious why I'm doing that, I'm going to watch D Ray or Riri. Why I do this. And the video I am watching is her making her own ColourPop palette. So I'll do that and then come back. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna go in with my emerald pencil. Go in with this one. Now I want a shimmery highlighter, so I'm going to use the highlighter that I used on my face, and I used the Classy Cake Cosmetic Highlighter in Sea Turtle because it's a green with a kind of a goldy shimmer to it. And need a highlighter brush. I'll put that on the inner corner. So I just need to do my mascara and my lipstick and then I'll be back. And here it is. So on my lips I've just got my Ulta 3 Soft Toffee Lipstick, which is one of my favourite orange colours. And um, yeah, that's all I did. Apart from putting my mascara on. So yeah, I was kind of thinking I was going to go neutral until I sat down and looked at the palette and then that went out the window because I just wanted to play with the green. <laughs> So I'm going to do my last look with my Tasty Avocado palette. I'm going to go in with Toast first. Okay. I'm going to go in with Brunch. And then I'm going to go in with Foodie. I'm going to go in with Seed, which I don't think I've actually used before, so this is my first time using Seed. It's a nice kind of very dark mustard brown. It'd go nice with some mustardy yellows. Some of the eye brights from BH Cosmetics, and this one is called Gnarly. So it's, a, it's this same kind of blue, but it's got a kind of green shift to it. So it's kind of this, it's, it looks the same color, it's just a little bit more bright and intense. And then I want a bit of glitter. So I'm going to use my Chi Glitter Eyeliner here. And you can see it's, it's kind of a clear blue base with glitter in it. 
Okay, how well you'll see that. It's just there. And I just want to pop up on. So I kind of want a glittery effect. I don't want to change the colour, I just want to add some glitter. I wasn't being careful, I was just packing it on, so I don't know how you can see that we've got tons of fallout here. So I'm going to put it under my eyes. I'm going to line with my LA Glide On Gel Eyeliner in Limelight. And I've just sharpened it, and the tip is a bit broken, so we'll see how we go. And then I'm going to go in with this green gold and put that underneath. And then I'm going to do the rest of my face and then come back. So this is where we're at and I'm going to go in with my classy cake King Triton highlighter and just do my inner corner. And while I was doing my makeup, I was watching Kelly Nicole. I enjoy so you just might like to know some of the people that I watch while I'm doing the makeup. So I just need to do lips and put my mascara on and then I'll be finished. So I'll be back in a minute. And there is my final look. And I'm using the NYX what is it? Better lipstick and lollies on my lips today. So the I'm using both kind of greens and my earrings I got from the beautiful Hayley Wizard and a friend mail swap that matches my t-shirt. <laughs> so I've done, I've done several looks with this palette now and I've used, yep I've used every colour now, it's just checking the head and um, I really like this palette, it works really well. I know um, Kyra from Journey and Beauty was just saying that um, it faded on her, it doesn't fade on me. So what you see now is what it'll look like at the end of the day on me. So I don't have any trouble with this one fading on me. So um, I'm sorry there was some fades, Kyra, because it is really beautiful. Um, definitely a green palette because it's only got um, like three colours that don't lean green in mattes. So you've got toast and creamy and seed, which aren't green. This one doesn't look green, but it is kind of a greeny gold. Called California. And all the rest of the colours are kind of greeny, like stone. It's kind of a greeny grey. I'm not going to swatch all the palette because it's not a new palette by any stretch of the imagination. And I really like how this very dark green here shows up green on the eyes. I've got it on my outer corner at the moment. So it doesn't look black, even though it looks really dark in the pan. It actually looks green when you put it on, which I really like. Because I don't like it when you've got a dark colour and you put it on and it just looks black or grey. And it doesn't show the colour it actually is. So it does show the colour it is, which I really like. Um, I really like the, the kind of... a the, these mossy, light, yellowy kind of greens are really, really pretty. I really like those. But these teal ones look really nice too. And I've got that on today. And um, I do, I think I would pull in from my collection maybe some teal mats if I'm playing with those teals. Because today I would have done like a teal up here where the brown is. I don't want to use a matte, I didn't want to use a shimmer. So instead I used the brown because I was just using this palette. And um, it still turned out really nice. It's just a little more um, subtle. <laughs> instead of using teal mattes. 
but I really like this palette. I'm really glad I picked it up. And um, Nikki Raven was saying how much she loved this palette, and I agree with Nikki on this one. I really like it, and I think it's a really good addition to my collection because I don't have a lot of those um, mossy kind of color greens, those kind of grassy mossy kind of greens, more the warmer greens rather than more like the teals. And I, and I love those ones, so yeah, I really like this palette. So if you're thinking about buying it and you like lots of green, if you like teal shimmers and you like that um, mossy grassy green, then I would say this is well worth the money. So yeah, that's my conclusions for that palette, and I've really enjoyed playing it this week. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.